Hey guys, my name is Darren, I've always known as Sparky, and I've always been interested in the solar system as a young boy, but especially Uranus, but then I kind of got out of that phase as I grew up. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going on about, so let's go straight into the video. So welcome to my pro in the VFL. This is week four of the season 21. I'm with AC Milan, and we are into the final weekend. The title race is well and truly not over. It's pretty tight. Um, it's pretty much down to that bum clenching time when if you drop a point, uh, another team sprint stream will win the league in a way. It's going to put you out of it. And I do have extra strong stretchy legs. Super stretch Mr. Fantastic can stretch up to three times his size and go to any length to defeat the evil Dr. You. Let's go for a spin, dude. Super stretch Mr. Fantastic stretches up to three times his size. So for my lady fans, just call me Mr. Fantastic and that'll do. Anyway, so we're going to go into this game. one up. So we want to obviously get a good start here. And King's going to get us off to a great start with a 2-0 lead in 33 minutes. And in these games where it's before we play the title challenges, uh, so we've got Atalanta later on in the episode. I think it's the last game of this season. We need to basically win these, get three points from here and get the goal difference up. And Bonky with a wonderful goal there. And that's his one goal of the season from left back. And uh, yeah, basically want to get the goal difference up, put pressure on the other teams above us. And hopefully it will make them mess up and put a bit of, just make them hopefully drop points so we have a chance. That's all it's going to come down to. So anyway, 3-0 up at half time. A uh, great start to the weekend. This is the Friday first game, or Friday only game in fact, and that's a great save from the keeper. Uh, nice green hair. I definitely saw that on a L'Oreal uh, advert a few days ago. And we get a penalty. Now this is a little bit questionable, this penalty, but as you've seen probably in previous episodes, we've had a lot of questionable penalties go against us. And I say a lot, there are two, but to me two is too many. Two too many. God, that's a mouthful. Okay, anyway. So we miss the penalty. Marty hits the uh, bar. And then the keeper makes a great save. A, a great recovering save. Getting up from the floor. Now they put a corner in. I flick it backwards to Matt. He plays it back to me somehow. And I am offside anyway. So it doesn't really matter. They only get a nice chance there. But Trucks with a great block from right back coming in. Hasn't played many games. But um, we thought we'd mix things up in defence. And he does exactly that. He mixes it up. Like a pick and mix on a cinema adventure. And we get the ball cleared. Now... I've got a few people saying that I pressed B a lot recently and you are very much correct in what you say. I do press B quite a lot recently and uh, you know what? I don't really want to press B but in a way it is, as I've always said, it's, I feel like I have to do it because this game is very... It doesn't benefit. Defenders that much had to stop while saying there as that uh, bit of music happened. Um, that's another penalty for us right here, get the goal to miss up. Yeah, it doesn't benefit us enough with the touch system. And Marty misses a second penalty of the game. I am st I'm stopping and starting what I'm saying. So even I'm going to lose track of what I'm actually going on about. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to the game here and it's our full time. 8.5 rating, 5 interceptions. It was very much one of those games where they just hit the ball over the top. And you've got to just trying to get it away. Using B, as I was pretty much just saying. So it's a time and place to be composed at the back. And... What I'm doing is currently getting clean sheets and that's why I'm not really changing much at the moment but I want to in the future kind of get out of the habit and kind of be a bit more of a ball playing centre back and it's a bit much to ask for. I have the composure of a chipmunk trying to get a pair of nuts from a tree. Don't know why. Anyway, so it's okay. We'll work on that in the future. So now playing VFL Como um, and being someone who's obviously into space is very relatable to comets and it's not quite Uranus but it's still a nice name. So we're one up against Como and it's still early days here and we're putting a lot of danger into their box and it's all about how can they handle it. I get a kind of flick on shot thing. Marty the great acrobatic kind of shot but it does hit the bar indeed. He's not had the best of luck so far. 
but he's the kind of guy who'll keep pushing and he will eventually get goals. So not in that clip right there. I was kind of hoping that'd be the cue for him to score, but it wasn't, so that's fine. I'll, I'll wait for another cue. Anyway, clearing up the danger there, and as I always say as well, if you've got a really good centre back partner, there it is, Martin Vizcarra, sorry. A uh, really good centre back partner, don't ensure they're going to get the, the chance to uh, clear it. Just make sure they, like you fall back behind them, because the, the fact of the matter is the game will fuck you up a little bit. Um, so it's just how this game works. Anyway, back onto the actual gameplay, and enough about my defending stuff. That'll be for another defending tips thing in the future. Bonky again with a great uh, header, and we're staying strong, staying tight, staying as a unit at the back, and we've literally stopped them doing anything. They've literally had no shots, so Josh must be loving life. Uh, Rumour has it, he does have some sunglasses on and working on the tan in the back of the goal. Anyway, another goal there, 3 0 up from Marty there, and he finally is starting to score. Penalties isn't his forte, and that is a great uh, tackle from their defender. I like to show tackles and defending things from the other teams it's quite an important thing on the game and it's quite nice to see it from other people as well anyway it came a great ball there from to me and i somehow miss great save from the keeper what a surprise i miss another chance and uh, again marty a great header hits the bar again and then they make an amazing clearance off the line uh, stopping us getting the fourth goal I fall over, I'm pretty sure someone tripped me, I, I, I'm i into the paranormal activity sort of stuff, so I'm pretty sure there's a ghost or some sort of demon that tripped me up on the way through trying to clear the ball, and that is now a comfortable save for Josh in the 84th minute, but they're still coming, we're still trying to hold on tight, get an initial block in, they're still running at us and causing good problems here, A Smithy makes Josh come to make a great save, a second great save, just trying to clear the ball, and I come on through here like a wrecking ball, do a front flip over the player, and eventually get the ball clear. Now, ball straight from the back. This is where you can do a big LB and Y and see if you can get a goal. And the keeper there stands strong, stands tall and makes two great saves. King dancing and eventually, eventually we get the breakthrough. 4-0 up and that's great for the goal difference yet again. And that is the end of the game. I didn't really do much myself. Only a 6.8 rating, but that's fine as long as the team won. We've got the clean sheet again as a unit at the back. And we move on to the next game. The, the, the team's not really changed. I don't think we've changed anything in the team itself. And um, we now play VFL US Latina Calcio, who you know from uh, last season, they won the league, but this is a completely different team, so it's, it's not, they're not to be taken granted of. Um, we've played them quite a few times this season, and they've always done quite well against us, um, and they're going to show this, they're going to show a bit of strength and character to come right at us in the early minutes, to make Josh make a great save very early on, something he's not done for a while. Again, creating uh, trouble from the set pieces, it's just kind of get bodies in the way, a free kick is given to them, but nothing happened, I believe, or was offside. I don't even know myself. This is the mystery and surprise I have uh, commentating this stuff. I haven't looked at the footage for a little bit, so I'm kind of just going with the flow like a wave in the Mexican waters of South Coast, somewhere in Mexico. So we get a good goal there from, I think it was Aaron. It got a good slice ball through the defence, and he finished it with a elegance of a majestic ballerina and then a second goal for Jordan I believe attacking mid great header into the bottom corner now I showed you a bit of my composure there to play off to the fullback but it wasn't that composed I was panicking like fuck uh, anyway going into the 45 minute now we take a dive into the box it's a new button on the control I believe you literally just lick the control and your guy does fall to the floor Anyway, big clearance for me, and we're still going to defend tight here, just get rid of the ball, and as you can see, this is exactly what I was on about. I don't want to trust the touch too much, so I literally do just get rid of the ball ASAP. Again, ball's just coming straight over my head at the moment, and that's all I can do is just get myself in the way and try and block any incoming attacks. Um, and so far, I'll do so well, but he gets through here, a little breakthrough, and a nice kind of comfortable save. I want to save for Josh, who's kind of only going to go to his near post, but I'm not a goalkeeper, so I could be wrong. Um, and anyway, ball play through here to Jordan, he's going to play it back to Bruce's Nan, and we do score the third goal, and that's kind of the cushion to mean we've won the game, pretty much, and that's exactly that. We get to the end of the game, three interceptions, four clearances, job is good, and life is dandy. So, we now go into the, I want to say the fourth game, but I could be lying, um, but we'll have a little build-up of tense music, maybe. And it's the fourth game, the final game. Everything comes down to this. If we win against Atalanta, who are in first place at the moment, and Avellino drop points, who are playing, I can't remember who they're playing, but they need to drop points, uh, either, either a draw or a loss, and we could potentially win the title. So, yeah, this is the big one. All three of us playing could win. So that's how tense things were. So anyway, we're going here, big aerial ball. I win the initial header. 
and to clear it away. Now we're going to get a chance of Jordan, but a great save from the keeper. And then we get another set piece. The ball's coming in and it's absolutely fantastic. It goes straight out of play for nothing. So... Again, that seems to be like a bit of a theme of our corners, a little bit inconsistent at times, with my heading ability of a giraffe wearing a hat. And then we come through like a wrecking ball yet again. It's pretty much coming quite a nice little feature in my defending aspects of just literally jumping all over them, and that is how it's going to work. Aaron plays a nice ball through here to Marty. He managed to keep it in touch somehow, plays it back into Aaron. The ball comes back to Jordan, and it's clear, it's blocked by someone. And it's now come to half time. Another flick on there. I went for the header. The ball's bouncing around like a bouncy castle in someone's back garden for a kid's 10th anniversary birthday party. I don't know what that means, but apparently it's pretty cool. And it's 0-0 at half time. We've obviously been a better team, but this is one of the teams where anything can happen where they're really good on the ball and it takes one thing and we're buggered. So it hits my knee there, my gangly knee, and it's cleared off the line. And they're still coming at us, creating really good problems. Johnny Tricks plays it to them in midfield. They shoot. Oh, and it goes in. So now 1 0 down. Um, it was pretty much a mistake from uh, the right back to play out there. This is what I mean. Just, like, clear the ball if you have to. Um, and they did a great. So they turned me so badly that like, I felt sick. It was like I was on a boat and I was rocking back and forth and I was violently sick. And now, great corner there. I flick it back to Bonky and they roll it in and get a 1 1. So now it's game on yet again. And. Literally, one goal for either team is all it's going to take to potentially maybe win this title. And here we go again. They get a flick on from the corner. Now they're going to turn aside and an animation comes in. I don't know if it's a slide tackle or a block from the animation of the game. And we're now 2-1 down from, guess what? Another penalty from EA. And I don't know what we can do about that. It's like two or three times now we've given away a penalty where it's not been our fault. It's actually literally been the game. And anyway, a long throw in in the 17th minute from Marty. It comes to Jordan, and it's now 2-2. So now back to this. It's now a drawing game for both teams, not what any team wants. We Obviously, one of us needs a win, so it goes to the ninth minute. Flick on back there to Kaz. Kaz is going to get the ball under control, put it back in. Matt 14 clears it. Now the ball's going to come from their end. You get a good flick on there. It's two versus one defence. It's going to play it through to Sharky. He takes a shot on Josh, stands strong and pushes it away. Corner comes in. I win the initial header, it ball comes out, and that is it. That is the end of everything. I'm exhausted. I f I'm actually sweating. This is embarrassing. And that's it. That's the final table. Avelino won, so fantastically well played to them. They deserved it. We come in second place in the end. And congratulations. It's been a great season. It's been quite entertaining. Obviously, we didn't win it, but um, next season is our season, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, maybe I'll bring you some Champions League games uh, very shortly. And also, there's a World Cup coming up, which will be an announcement on very shortly as well. So, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought. And take care, farewell, and be really saying goodbye.